Hey, what's going on, guys? In this video, going to be doing a bit of airdrop hunting with this project called Prism. I wanted to do a little bit more research on it, but they don't allow access into the Discord without verifying a phone number. And over on their Telegram, uh, you can't message. So I wasn't able to, I wanted to do a little bit of review, but I can't do that. But I do remember this project back when it was on the Terra ecosystem. So I do know a little bit about it, enough to think that it might be uh, worth chasing this airdrop. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this test net portion here. Uh, and there are instructions to do that. There's another tweet here connecting to test net. And I did confirm the links as well. If you go to prism application, you could see the pop-up there is the same address as this. So it does look like we're, we should be ready to go. And then I'm going to try to do these seven tasks in a brand new Kepler wallet to try to qualify for the airdrop. So this might be pretty urgent. I'm not sure for how much longer this is going to actually be active. So I'm just going to walk through it here in this video. So let's go. All right. First thing I need to do is create a new Kepler wallet. So if you've never connect or created a wallet, I'm not going to illustrate that here because I don't want to give up the seed phrase on this video, but you're just going to go get a Kepler wallet extension. It looks like this. And then uh, I'll pick the video back up from there once I have a wallet. All right, so I've got a brand new Kepler wallet up here. So I'm going to go over to these instructions. I'm going to go to this testnet.prism, which is right here. Prism application. Open that up. Then the testnet guide. It says we're going to be clicking on this wallet icon at the top, hitting connect. And then it looks like just switching over to the test net. So let, let me kind of just try this out and see what it looks like. So if I'm here on Prism, connect the wallet, approve, Kepler. All right, so now my wallet is connected, but I think from these instructions, right? Connected, approved, I picked Kepler wallet. Okay, so now we need to go back into the wallet, go to the three dots, manage chain visibility, and then look for Prism Testnet. All right, so Kepler, top left, manage chain visibility, and Prism Testnet. Boom, there we go. So I'm going to select that and hit save. So we're all good there. Going back to the guide, we need to get some faucet tokens. Okay, so given that you have a Prism address, navigate to the faucet page, which is also in these instructions. It automatically filled in my public wallet address. Let's just go make sure here. So it's saying that you can copy the address if you want to and then paste it into the faucet. But when I'm at the faucet here, it already did that for me. So I'm just going to hit request tokens. I'm not a robot. Ugh, captures. Tokens sent successfully. So now let me go back and check on my Kepler wallet. And sweet, in Prism, 119 dollars worth of tokens available obviously these are not this isn't real money right usd sim and prism testnet tokens this just in testnet not real money but it will allow us to continue with the instructions so i'm going to go back to the tweet test out the features on testnet swap tokens usdc to sim and usdc to c sim all right where am i supposed to do that so i'm back here on the regular page i'm going to click on the swap button and it said swap USDC to SIM and USDC to C SIM. So USDC to SIM. So I'm just going to do like two because it looks like we've got 10 in there. So I'm going to do that swap. All right. And then I've got eight left. So I'm going to do two more to C SIM. And this is all free, right? I haven't had to use any actual money to do any of this. All right. So boom. First thing done. Check that. Stake Prism to any validator. So I think I need to get some Prism tokens first then, right? But if I go to my Kepler wallet, we got some of that, didn't we? So we already have Prism here. So yeah, stake Prism to any validator. Let's go back. Stake. So delegate tab up here at the top. I want to, so do I have to, let's see, I'm going to do 0.5. Select the validator. I'm assuming it said any of these, right? So I'm just going to pick Mr. Node, the first one. 0.5, I'm gonna hit stake. And with these transaction fees, I just always switch them to the lowest just out of habit. You know, I'm not in a rush. Even on the test net, it's whatever I suppose, but just out of habit. 
All right, success. I have staked. What is next on our list? Create a pulse trade. Back to the main website. A pulse trade. Where can we find what that is? Earn. Okay, so trade. A pulse trade. So I'm looking at the bottom left. If you can see the bottom left of the recording here, testnet.prism.zone slash pulse trade. So I'm going to click on that. Create a pulse. So there we go. So prism, and it didn't give any... Uh, instructions just create a pulse trade just in general so we've got a little bit of prism still here so i'm just going to do 0.2 because i don't know how much more we're going to need token to buy i'm just going to leave it as sim token amount per pulse i'll just do max pulse interval can i do like point an hour zero one i don't want it to take that long yep so i'm going to hit create pulse interval must be greater than one minute all right so then i'll do 0.6 or no what would that be 160th. So I'll just do 0.1 and hit create. All right, boom. So we're done with that one. And then we got to do, I remember it's a flow trade. So next up, a flow trade. And that's leap. This is a flow trade, this icon here. So we're going to click on that. Ooh, create a flow. Start date. This is pretty interesting too. Can't wait to read the docs and see what exactly is going on here. Start date needs to be in the future. So I'm going to pick the seventh. Duration. I'll just do one day. I don't think it really matters. This is already pre-selected, so I'm not going to worry about that. Amount locked. Let's just pick, because I, I don't think it matters. So I'm going to go back to USDC. I'm just going to do one. And it looks like token swapping to, this is fine. Why Luna? I don't think it matters. Limit price, name, optional, optional, optional. So you do have to put in a limit price. Um, so I'll just put in one, because I don't even know exactly. Right, it's just testnet. So I don't think it really matters necessarily, but it allows me to hit confirm. So I'm going to hit confirm. All right, cool. So we're good on that one. What else is on the list? Uh, add liquidity, delegate tokens. I think we already did delegate, right? So maybe stake and delegate are two separate things. So I'm going to do add liquidity. And where might we do that? Provide liquidity right over here. Sim prison, since we do have Sim, I know, in our wallet because of what we did earlier. I'm going to add liquidity here. So I'll do one. And then it looks like it did not autofill this other part. So I'm just going to do 0 0.1 since I only have 0 0.28 in there. And that's not 50-50 liquidity, but it looks like it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it and see what happens. You've joined the pool. Boom. Delegate tokens. So stake prism, we did that. And now delegate tokens. Maybe that's something else because I don't see a stake. Like, is this Prism? So stake your maturities token because the other tab I did was a um, a delegate, right? So let's try this and see what this does. Why Sim? I don't have any of that. So P assets, do I have any of those? Maybe I just don't have it because I did max. So what I want to do, I'm going to go back and get some Y sim because it looks like I can't change the type here. So if I go to the trade tab, I've got USDC still left. So I'm going to do one for some Y sim and do the swap there. Cool. So we got that. I'm going to go back to this, to the stake tab. Now I've got that Y sim. I'm just going to do a little bit. So I'm going to do one stake. All right. So we got that. All right, so we've done stake prism to a validator, add liquidity, delegate tokens. I think we've knocked all that out. I can't find anywhere else where that might be. And then deposit assets. So it's just saying, and then it just says, et cetera. So it really just wants you to kind of mess around, it appears, in here. So what's like the last thing we can do? We did a pulse trade. What is this leap? Deposit. So chain not supported. So let's go ahead and do... Prism isn't even a chain that's allowed here because obviously I'm not I'm not going to put real money into a test net and it looks like Prism isn't really there. So I don't know that I'll be able to do that. I think that we've checked everything off. That might be unless you guys see something I don't. I'm going to give one last look. Portfolio, bond, refract, redeem tokens, swap. We did that. Vote. I guess what we could do, we've provided liquidity. We, we've essentially done everything except for these two bond and rates so i'm going to go to bond 
and see if there's anything easy in here that I might have sim. So it looks like just these assets are the only are the only two that you can have. And since we don't have any of those for the test net, I think that we can't do that. So I'm going to go here and then check rates, see if there's anything here we can do. See sim. I think we might have some of that. So if I refract, if I just pick on this, yeah, I've got a little bit in there. So I'm going to hit one. That's going to do some refracting. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Boom refracted so i'm gonna hit close i also see at the top there's this liquify and i'm guessing the more tasks we do the more you know we would be able to get it doesn't look like i can do anything on this one either with the liquify so i think we're good to go that's gonna be it i'm gonna leave it there uh, i did do it with a new wallet you might be able to actually do this with multiple wallets if you wanted to if you wanted to try to maybe play the airdrops if that's possible to do it with more than one wallet you could do that if you've got the time i suppose but that's it hopefully you found this helpful if you're still here don't forget to hit the like button subscribe hit the notification bell for more content in the future and i'll see you on the next video